Okay, everybody, this is Caterin. This is Jericho. And this is JK Let's Play. This is our first Let's Play. We're really excited about it. Today is uh, November 25th, yes? Yes, Thanksgiving Day of Yay. 2010. Yay, turkey and stuffing and stuff and... and pie. Pie, yes, pie. And um, banana pea cream pie sounds really good, too. Ah, uh, too bad we don't have any. Yeah. But I bet I know I bet I know who does have some bananas that we can make banana cream pie with. Who? The monkeys. Oh yes. The monkeys of Monkey Island. Oh yes. And we're gonna actually play Monkey Island today, which is gonna be really cool. We're super excited about that. Nice segue. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we did some thinking about this, and I have Monkey Island Special Edition, as you saw from the title screen, because when we were little kids, we didn't actually have Monkey Island, so it was really. We we had some other LucasArts games. But we did, never, we did. But never actually any of the Monkey Island games. Yeah, I really do hope that they re-release uh, Grim Fandango. But yeah. So here we are with uh, Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. We have the choice of toggling between the new version and the old version. They don't let us toggle to the old version, the original version, until after this beginning credit screen rolls. Um, do we want to do it with the originals? Um... <coughs> I don't really care either way, to be okay. completely honest. Just for my sake, because I like the controls on the original version a lot better, and I think the jokes when you do the pirate fighting scenes, I think those are a lot better in the original version, because mm -hmm. they, they do change some of the jokes, I've noticed. Right. So we're going to play in the old version, so I just have to hit F10 once this credit sequence is done and over with. And, um, yeah, we're going to get started. It's going to be super cool. Incidentally, as we're using craps, that'll also give us a nice screen cap. So, that should be fun. Yeah, yay, fraps. Yay. But, uh, yeah, so. This is a really long beginning. It is, but you know what? Film. Listen to that music, though. Yeah, that's. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I can dig it. I can't complain about good mu music. Thanks, Craig Derrick, for producing. So, this is the old, new art, and the old art. Yay. Yay! Hi! My name's Skybrush Threepred, and I want to be a pirate! Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that! Right. Uh, I'm over this way. Ah! Well then, Thriftweed. Three boy. Guybrush Three boy. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. <laughs> But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. <laughs> You'll find them in the scum bar. Very nice. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right, thanks. I should mention that the new version, they actually brought in voice actors to do uh, voiceovers. Part 1, The Three Trials! Do -do! Do -do! So, um, and it's really cool to see, like, how it looks between the older version and the newer version. Um, for right now, I don't think I want to toggle in between, just because that's kind of going to make this uh, run a little bit longer than we want it to. Yeah. But, uh, I think what we'll do is if people ask for it, then we will toggle back and forth. So you can see the new version compared to the old version. Like, in the new version, that moon back there, it's a lot bigger. And So I'm going to open up this door. Incidentally, scum bar is a reference to the role-playing system that they used to make this game, which was called the scum system. Yeah, Jidge is the one who knows all the tidbits. I'm just playing, so... I'm going to talk to the pirates, because I really don't want to... Well, I want to talk to the main pirates, because I, I, I don't want to fiddle with the older guys right now. But don't you want to ask that one guy about Loom? <laughs> I don't remember that. There's a guy you can talk to about Loom? How do I know more about this than you do? Because you spend way too much time on TV tropes, that's why. No, it's, people know, but just whatever. Just okay. one, of them, one of them will have a bad that says, ask me about Loom. Which pirate is it? Do you know? I think it's that guy. That one, the... That I pointed to you that everybody watching this will totally be able to tell. I the think. guy next to the dog that the chef just walked past? Yeah, that guy. Okay. Then I will talk to that I pirate. That guy. 
Yep, ah. there he is. Okay, so, tell me about Loom. Should I do the voice for him? Nah, it's okay. I mean the masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Moriarty! Why, it's an extraordinary magic adventure with an interface of magic. Oh, and it's advertising. Yay. Stunning. High resolution 3D landscapes. <laughs> 3D. Sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects. Elegant point and click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. What's this that? was a day and age where that still would have been a relatively recent game. Well, and at the same time, like, when you could get the special edition, you still can get the special edition, the Loom is actually available on Steam. Yeah. In fact, if you actually switch back, you can still ask him about Loom. Yeah. And it's a fully voiced advertisement now. Yeah. It's... I, I, I don't think I've ever talked to that pirate before. Like, I talked to... You, the guy who's missing an eye and stuff, but... Oh. Okay, Guybrush wants to sit behind the pirates, apparently. So, I'm gonna talk to these guys. Alright. Come on. Talk so, to... See, sometimes I click on talk to, and it's just like, talk walk to. to. There we go. What you, what be you wanting, boy? I wanna be a pirate. So Stop. what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget, we're short on help because of this whole Latark thing. Thanks, Jay. You're yeah. great at being three different pirates. So, so no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. How do you do that? Well, <laughs> alright, but just don't, but you don't be, become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the, the three, three trials! trials! Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. And the art of thievery. And the quest. The quest? The, the what? what? Treasure hunting, you see, Urchin? <laughs> right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and uh, treasure huntery. <laughs> then return with proof that you've done it. <laughs> now that we... And then you must drink grog with us! Grog! 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 <laughs> see, now that we're doing this, it makes me regret not using the newer version because <laughs> we have to sit through our own really bad self voiceovers. I don't know, I think I'm doing okay. Um now do we have to ask them about all the different trials in order to keep going? I think we do. Uh I'm not absolutely So sure. I'm gonna ask him to tell me more about mastering the sword. So. First, get you a sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in count can probably direct you. Oh, you'll want to find someone to train you first. Ha <laughs> ha! Imagine trying to take on the Swordmaster without any training! Har 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 har! Okay. Oh, tell me more about a master in the art of thievery! I'm really bad at voice. We want you to procure a small item for us the idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion! The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside of town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. They're a particularly vicious breed. You might be able to drug them or something. Alright, and then I'm going to ask him about treasure hunting, just so that we get this stuff about it out of the way. Yeah. Tell me more about treasure hunting! Exposition! Yay! Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. <clears throat> All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, trademark, and bring it back here! <laughs> Should I have a map or something? Gosh. You can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map! And don't forget, X marks the spot. Ah. Har, 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 har. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. 
Dude, should I ask him some of the silly stuff? Yeah, ask what's in the grog. I love that. I love that bit of conversation. <laughs> what's in that grog stuff, anyway? Grog is a mix is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following: kerosene, propylglycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, <laughs> acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. The stuff cook eats right through these mugs and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. Har 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 har. So basically what these guys are drinking is a mixture of pizza, alcohol, and car parts. Basically, yes. And it sounds delicious if I may say so. You can go ahead and drink all the battery acid you want. I'm going to get You know what? You know what? I will. I will do that. <laughs> I will do precisely that. Wow. <laughs> Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Speaking right. of coming back later, we are going to take a break for now, and we will be back as soon as possible with the next of Let's Play Monkey Island. Thanks for watching.